South Africa has become one of the most popular travel destinations in the world, and it's no wonder, given its abundance of wildlife, diversity of cultures, and natural beauty, plus Cape Town, obviously, you can pretty much see it all in just one country, from epic coastlines and colorful architecture to penguin-filled beaches and vibrant coral reefs. The entire country deserves to be explored, but here are our picks for the 10 most beautiful places in South Africa. But before continuing further, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon, so you never miss any update from us. Let's continue with our video. Number 1. Kruger National Park Iconic, remote, and beautiful Chances are if you tell someone you are going to visit South Africa, Kruger National Park is the kind of picture that they will envisage. Dust off your chalky suit because if you want to surround yourself with natural wonder and exotic species, then look no further, this is the place to go for a safari. The gorgeous park is a nature reserve spanning just over 19,000 square kilometers. So, there are chances are that you would not get around it in a day. However, if you are paying a flying visit, there are faster ways to take it all in, which will allow you to see mountains, savanna, and tropical forests. Guided tours are the way to go, and there are plenty of lodges if you feel you want to enjoy the flora and fauna for an extended amount of time. Easily one of the best and most famous places to visit in South Africa. Number 2. Cape Town Cape Town is located on its own peninsula in the south of South Africa and definitely belongs on the list of the most beautiful places in South Africa. So what can you experience in this unique city on Table Mountain? Of course, you should climb Table Mountain. The mountain is about 1,000 meters high and extends over 6,500 hectares. However, you don't have to hike this mountain, there is also a cable car that takes you to the top in 7 minutes. During the ride, you can admire the 360 degrees panorama, which is only more impressive at the highest point. In the city itself, you can admire the culture of many different nations. This includes Bokop, a neighborhood near Signal Hill Park. The special thing about this neighborhood are the numerous colorful houses. Number 3. Durban The water at the beach is much warmer than that of Cape Town, which encourages throngs of surfers to flock there every year. Durban is a real cultural melting pot and has the highest population of Indians in the world. As a result, the cuisine and culture are just a little different than you would expect in Africa. If you want to have a properly authentic curry, you won't find anywhere better. But it doesn't have to be hectic if you make the trip to Vital Beach a real gem of a place to visit in South Africa. Prepare to be amazed. The aquamarine water accompanied by white sand, which stretches for 18 or so miles mean you can spend the day in relative solitude. Keep your eyes out for the endangered Samango monkeys, as they are a bit rare nowadays. Number 4. Stellenbosch Architecture, Wine, Food, Culture I hear you cry, where can we find all of these things combined? Well my answer to you is South Africa's second oldest town, Stellenbosch. Think of scattered granite hills and lush leafy vineyards arranged in lines like soldiers, with arrow straight paths leading up to various estates. So yes easily one of the best and most beautiful places to visit in South Africa. If it's wine tasting you are after in Stellenbosch, it's wine tasting you will get. There are even routes where you can take an exploration of different tastes in wines, melded with amazing views and scenery. When combined with restaurants serving some of the best food on the planet. Stellenbosch is truly a feast for the senses. If you have a little hangover to work off there are mountain biking tours, safaris, and hikes right on the doorstep. Number 5. Blyde River Canyon, Mpumalanga Located in Mpumalanga, the Blyde River Canyon, one of the largest canyons on earth, is where you'll find a scenic river winding past red sandstone cliffs as it crosses the low veld. You can stay up high and get some breathtaking photos of the river and cliffs or head down to the river itself and take a boat tour where you may even spot a hippo or two. Number 6. Golden Gate Highlands National Park The Golden Gate Highlands National Park gets its name from the hue that the impressive sandstone rocks take on at certain times of the day. When held against the backdrop of luxuriant green forests, they are a sight to behold. If a hotel is ruining your authentic savanna vibe, go and stay in a traditional rendezvous, which literally translates as round hut, as there are plenty in the surrounding area. For a bit of cultural interest, the sandstone rocks have been used by hunters and bushmen for countless generations, and if you look closely whilst walking you may be able to pick out some cave paintings. 
The area is also home to several rare breeds of animals that are native only to this area, mixed in amongst the more common indigenous species. Number 7. Kialagadi Transfrontier Park Reaching out into both South Africa and neighboring Botswana, the Kialagadi Transfrontier Park, meaning Great Thirst, is a desert wilderness with terrain that's totally unique. Amidst the salt pans, bushveld, and rust-red dunes of the Kalahari are hordes of plains game, such as wildebeest, springbok, and gemsbok, that are hunted in turn by predators like lions, cheetah, and leopards. Surrounded by nothing but barren wilderness, the game viewing here is simply astounding. The Kalagadi was once split in two, South Africa's Kalahari, Gemsbok National Park in South Africa, and Botswana's Gemsbok National Park were combined to form one official park in 1999. Due to its vast expanse, part of the Galagadi is inaccessible without a four-wheel vehicle, and even then, it's an adventure. Named after the Galagadi tribes who formerly lived in this corner of the desert, some of the descendants of the original communities can still be found here today, such as the Meyer community and the co-speaking Komeni community, so make sure you include a visit. Number 8. Cape of Good Hope it looks nice, but we recommend you leave your bathing costume in the car, why? Well first of all the South Atlantic is absolutely freezing, and secondly, because it is so rough that most people only swim there when they are victims of a shipwreck. This rocky promontory offers amazing views, dramatic windswept ocean vistas, and really remote experience. If you want the best views of the Cape, walk up to the lighthouse, or if you have had enough of being windswept, take the small train that will take you directly to the top. Number 9. Pretoria and Johannesburg It is hard to describe the beauty of South Africa without a brief discussion on its troubled past. The truly extraordinary part of this country is the resilience of its people in the face of centuries-long oppression. There are two places in Pretoria and Johannesburg that are incredible not because of their natural beauty, but because of the fantastic people that represent these communities. The Apartheid Museum opened in 2001 and the emotional exhibits take you through the dramatic and poignant journey to freedom. Expect an incredibly moving experience. Number 10. Sitsikama National Park, Eastern Cape Sitsikama stretches along 80 kilometers of pristine coastline. It is best known for its giant indigenous trees, such as Milkwood and Yellowwood, and its many hiking trails, including the Otter Trail. There's an abundance of amazing things to experience in the Tsitsikama Park, such as the Storms River Suspension Bridge, a canopy tour 30 meters above the forest floor or bungee jumping from Bluckrens Bridge. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Thanks for watching the video.